In this video I'm going to be reviewing Speechello. This is actually an updated version from the release that I purchased about four years ago. Now I'll be honest, I, I purchased it but I never actually got around to using it. And since then I've been stung recently by a few Absumo deals that went bust. I'll talk about that in another video, I'll probably link to it on screen or down below. But this is a very good reliable option if you're looking for cheap and very good quality text-to-speech services. Now why use text-to-speech? Now I don't have the clearest voice, I know for me it's, it's, it's ideal. Because if I'm going to convert some blog posts into a, an audio file or have some uh, voiceover for YouTube, or I can even create a podcast out of a blog post and also get some backlinks that way for SEO. And because I don't have the clearest, uh, clearest speech, this helps, and also if English isn't your first language, or you don't speak it clearly, then this is a very good option. Now you can always go by the route that I've tried, which is going via Amazon, Poly, and Azure, and Google Cloud. But it gets very fiddly and complicated, and it's better if you know a bit of coding, but it just gets a bit gets a bit annoying, and it's very time, time consuming. This, this takes seconds to do, and it actually generates audio really quickly, surprisingly quickly even faster than the other premium services that I paid for and you get a plethora of voices male and female, different countries, different languages, you get standard voice, AI voice and so on. Let me just quickly jump to the uh, sales page so uh, the link below will take you to the sales page um, so I think you get, let me just see so you get 23 languages in the standard uh, front end package you get 13 male and female voices you can also add, also add inflections and other options to the voice depending on what the op what options are available for that voice and you can download it and use it in Camtasia, Adobe Premiere, Animaker, whatever you want I'm using Camtasia and I'm also going to use it for TikTok as well so you just paste your text, choose a voice, generate and download They've got an offer on at the moment, it's $37 for the uh, front end package. It's a one time price, you access, get access to all 30 standard voices. Okay, there's a couple of uh, testimonials there. There's a couple of samples here, let me just... Uh, can I mute my mic? Okay, let me see what I can do. Let me press play. Hello, Today I'm Billy, we're going to show and I'm one of the, the amazing... Technology that is able to transform any text into speech and okay, leave it in second, such a I natural think, uh, sound that way that it's tough to tell somebody that played that one anyway I'll show you inside the dashboard itself but you can sample all the voices here then we've got a whole list of the voice all, all the voices and it gives some more information um, some more sales pitchy stuff these voices are actually really good they're not all robotic some are a little bit robotic but a lot of them are really good. Now I highly recommend if you can afford it and you've got the budget for it, upgrade to the Pro package. I'll show you the difference in a second but let me just quickly run to the end of this. Now I believe the Pro package is $47 a quarter. It's every three months. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the old price or current price. I'll have to double check it. But that is worth it because it helps them develop the uh, service keep it ongoing and also you get access to loads of really good voices create a 10 minute voice of in 10 seconds yeah it's very very fast so 30 voices online text editor breathing and pauses 23 languages voice tones you can change your speech and pitch okay is that the end you get 60 day money back guarantee uh, and so on Okay, so I think that's it. Yeah, so it's completely cloud-based, so you just copy and paste and yeah, just do it. So this is the actual dashboard itself. So you can see I've, I've got the Speechella base front-end plan, pro plan, and the, the tube or YouTube plan. I believe that just allows you to import the uh, captions or text from YouTube videos and create it into a, an audio file. But the pro plan is the, is the minimum you want really. And you can see on the right here, I've got 269 voices rather than the 30. And what you get now is you get this AI voice, 
which is higher quality. So let me just quickly grab some, I'll just do the preview here. So let me show you the standard. So Billy, Billy Joey is standard. Let me just quickly put print, press preview. Hi, I'm Billy. I am a native English speaker. Okay, that's not bad. I don't really go for these kid ones, but let's see. Hi, I'm Owen. No, Summer. It's a pro, pro voice here. Hi, I'm Summer. I am a native. Not bad. Andrew's quite good. Hi, my name is Andrew. I am a native. Now, Wyatt is a pro voice, but it's an AI voice. I don't know if I can play it. Good day. I'm Wyatt. You can. So you see with the standard voices, you get... You can add breathing, emphasize words, adjust speech. So volume, speaking rate, the pitch. You can add a pause to your text. You can emphasize, oops, emphasize words. Let me just delete that. And you can add breathing. So uh, there's a little breathing pause. And with AI voice, switch engine. So AI voice, um, so which one? Okay, Wyatt is a good AI voice. Good day. I'm Wyatt, and I'm a new. So with Wyatt, you can adjust the speech volume and speaking rate, and you can add a pause. You get less options, but these voices sound more realistic. So Cooper's a good one. Good day. I'm Cooper, and I'm a native English speaker. Good day. I'm Willow, and I'm a. Good day. I'm Naomi. And I'm a native. It sounds really good. Uh, Madeline, female. Not working for some reason. Rosie's not a pro voice. Hi, I'm Rosie. It's okay. Hi. Um, let me see. Henry is not. Hi, I'm Henry. I'm... Not bad. Let's see what other language is. So we've got English, British. Poppy is a pro voice. A, a pro, is it a standard voice or AI voice? Okay, Poppy is an AI voice. Hi, my name is Poppy. I am a native English speaker. Very good quality. Hi, my name is Harry. Standard voice. Another pro voice, Alfred. Good day, I'm Alfred, and I'm a native British English speaker. It's good, not the best, but it's very good. English Canadian, is there much of a difference? Uh, okay, they've only got a few for English Canadian. Um, let me see, I don't know any other languages, so. French. Bonjour, je suis Zachary, et je suis une locutrice. That actually sounds decent. Arsène, after Arsène Wenger. Bonjour, je suis Arsène. Et... That's actually really good. Surprised. Okay. Let me just go, go through the top. So Arabic, Arabic, Algerian. It's got different dialects. Arabic, different dialects. Chinese. Loads for English. Different types of French, German, and so on. So let me give you an example of English, um, English, US. Let me grab some text. So this is what I've been using. For. I've been using it for TikTok. And also I'll be using it to convert blog posts into uh, audio files um, to help with SEO and get a bit more traction. So let me just copy this and the article, paste it. And what they recommend, you add punctuation and you also break up the text. So let me see. Second. Sorry about that. Uh, let me see. Where's the. Okay. Change this one here. This is what I'll do. I'll show you actually how you can merge it. So first, let me just preview. Um, we'll do AI voice and we'll choose. Hi. I'm Billy. Hi. My name is Andrew. Good day. I'm. I'll choose Wyatt. Okay, so do a quick preview. He then rants about how an entire ecosystem of content farms seems motivated to constantly. This is a preview. 
Okay, that sounds fine. Now, what they recommend is if you've got a lot of text, you split it up into different files. This few sentences should be fine. 67 words. The maximum limit is 20,000 characters in one session. But I think they recommend maximum 3,000 to help it process and just help it flow. So just say, for example, let me just copy all of this. And let me just delete this. So we'll generate, uh, where was it gone? Uh, Wyatt, AI voice. Uh, we'll leave it default. Generate. It's really quick. That's done. So you see the list down here. Why it is done. It shows you some of the text. So now we'll do the second part. Control V. We delete all this. And we'll generate. Got Y selected. Generate. Done. Let's press play. He then rants about how an entire ecosystem of content farms seems motivated to constantly update articles about printers in response to the incentive structure created by that robot's obvious preferences. Maybe I could adjust this speed and it's slower. Um, actually, let me try that. So let me set this one. This the second one. Yeah, let me do this one. Okay. Just speech, I'll make it a little bit slower. Okay, generate voiceover. Let's see the difference in this one now. Pointing out that incentive structure and the culture that's developed around it seems to make a lot of people mad, which is also a touch slower. Now what you can do is you can merge them. So if you do if you've got multiple uh, audio bits that you've done, you just quickly merge and merge selected. And then you just choose the one that you want in order you want if they're in different order, then you merge files, give it a new name. Demo Wyatt. Merge files, done really quick. And now play. He then rants about how an entire ecosystem of content farms seems motivated to constantly update articles about printers in response to the incentive structure created by that robot's obvious preferences. Pointing out that incentive structure and the culture that's developed around it seems to make a lot of people mad, which is also interesting. Yep, the whole thing about how SEOs and Google ruined the internet. Done. See, that was really simple, and you can download it and do whatever you want with it. It's got the date and time, the maximum characters, and so on. And you can also use this one to move up and down, I think. What can you do? Oh, you can delete. Sorry, delete. So that was my uh, fairly quick review of Spicello. Now, if you've been stung recently by any of these dodgy AppSumo deals, I highly recommend getting this because you can see the quality is really good. You've got a 60-day money-back guarantee. And even the base plan, which is on offer now for $37, I think I paid more when I bought it. You get 30 of the standard voices, but the upgrade for Pro is really good because you get the AI voice. AI voices, you can see I've got 269 across all the languages. So this is a really good package. Also, let me show you this as well. So just say, for example, you've got different sites where you're doing client work, because you've got full commercial rights, or you're doing gigs or something. You can have different campaigns here. You can have clients here. Just say I'm doing voiceover for one site. I can have the site name in here. Everything's on that site. All of this saved in the cloud. And you simply just download your audio, use it wherever you need to, TikTok, YouTube, Camtasia, Premiere Pro. And that's it, it's ready to go. Sorry, that's my server restarting. So yeah, I hope you found that useful. It is a really good option for text-to-speech. It saves a lot of headache and hassle of doing it manually. And the price is really good. So I hope you find it useful. There's a link down below. And uh, thanks for watching.